Good morning on Friday. Um, I'm looking really red because I've just come back from the gym and had a shower and stuff. So it's Friday. I'm trying to use the rest of the leftovers in the fridge. Um, so I thought I would show you what we've got and what I might do with it. So here's the fridge with all the things in it. Um, these are the key leftovers that I've got. Two boiled potatoes, that's two bubble and squeak and some noodles. And then I've got a whole load of olives, hummus, salsa and bits and pieces. I've put the butter in here because I smashed the lid of the butter box yesterday and I don't have another anything close to a lid for that, so that's going there. So, what else have I got? I've got some bacon. I think breakfast is sorted. So, I have preheated the air fryer to 200 degrees. Um, I've sprayed it with oil on the inside and I've put just put in my bacon and my bubble and squeak. These bubble and squeak, squeaks were made with leftover cabbage and potato and onion mix that I think was in my last video. Um, and I've added fresh herbs, feta cheese and chilli flakes and seasoning. Um, they're so good. I think I got um, six out of that mixture so this is the third breakfast of bubble and squeak i've been having and it's it's really good so these are going to go uh straight in the air fryer for 12 to 15 minutes i'd say we'll see how it looks after that okay so uh everything's had about six minutes needs a bit of a turn it's coming on really well I cannot use this and hold the phone, so I'll be right back. There we go. Ready to go back in for another few minutes. Okay, so to clean the air fryer, I've just put water and washing up liquid in it and put it back on at 200 degrees for about five minutes. And then that's gonna get out all the gross. I'll just give it a wipe down and it'll be perfect.
This morning I'm going to make quinoa porridge in the Instapot. I hate quinoa and I'm trying to use it up. I've added some white miso just to give it a bit of umami and I'm using up the last of this um, chocolate protein powder that I also really hate. But I hate waste so I'm using as much as possible. The quinoa is only going to take like a minute at pressure in the Instapot um, so I'm putting it on for one minute. It's okay, but the texture's not that creamy, so I'm adding in this homemade kefir or kefir um, into the mix just to, you know, make it tasty. And also I needed to use that up, and I'm trying to use up um, leftovers and not waste food. I'm serving up the porridge covered in fruit and nuts and just for a bit of sweetness. Today I'm using this homemade pear syrup. Other days I might use honey or um, even a little bit of sugar. Today I'm cooking gnocchi in the Instapot on sauté mode. I've already cooked the gnocchi, I've just put it in um, water and cooked it to, as per the packet instructions. And I've made a little ragu to go with it. So in here I've got onions, garlic, the bottom end of asparagus, the bit that you would normally snap off and throw away. Some chilli, some miso, and some mushrooms, and some parsley stalks. In an ideal world, like if I had a full kitchen, if I had a full kitchen, I would blitz that in a food processor um, or a blender or with a stick blender and make a smooth sauce, but that is not something that I have available to me, so this is going to be... Um, Chunky, farmhouse, country style. Also, I've cooked some asparagus in the air fryer to go with it. I've just added in a little bit of cream cheese. I think this is ready. To finish, I've just scattered over some blue cheese, some chopped up sun-dried tomato with some of the oil, some parsley and a few olives. <laughs> 